Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. This is episode 10. What we're going to do today is make our way to the next spiritual stone. I'm just coming from Kakuriko Village if you need a waypoint to go from. Just check the marker on the map on the bottom right and you'll be fine. When I said in the last episode that when you go to the Temple of Time you make a sort of checkpoint so that when you shut the game off and load it back up it'll start from there. I was wrong. Apparently you still start from Kakuriko, um, Kokiri Forest. I'm not sure what went on there, but meh, whatever. Hello, Al. I mean, I'm sure the Temple of Time is a checkpoint at some point. Not now. What do you want now? Checking up on us again, you? Looks like you've already gotten bigger and stronger. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. The Zoras serve Hyrule's royal family by protecting this water source. I love the Zoras. They're one of the best races in the entire series, in my opinion. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Yep, okay. I will do it just for you. I know his name begins with a G, but I can't quite remember his name. Because he never seems to mention it in the game. But I think it's hinted at at some point. Either that or... Oops, that was close. Either that or it's just from books and stuff. Nine of them. One more and we can get our first reward, but... You know, we'll get that easily. We'll get one more easily. I like to get rid of all the boulders by here, I don't know why. It's just there to prevent me from coming here too early, I think. Hello, chicken. Right, this guy is going to be a start of a little side questy thing. Let's talk to him. You'll notice we've got 99 rupees, the most we can have right now. How about some magic beans? They aren't selling very well. How about 10 rupees for one? Okay, yeah. We've got a magic bean. You just plant them in soil like this. I'll show you, actually. Might as well. It'll make things easier later in the game if we... Oh, bloody hell. Awkward. Right. So much easier with the touch screen. Plant it. But we can't actually use it yet. We've got to wait for it to grow. So we leave it for now. We'll carry on buying stuff. How about some magic beans? You can't actually skip through this. They're not that popular yet. That's more popular than he said last time. So we sell them for 20 instead of 10. So we've got one more. Right. And again, it's the last one we can buy for now anyway, because we won't have enough money after this one. They're getting to be quite popular. 30 rupees for one. Yep. I think there are only two places I'd want to plant them anyway. There might be a third one for all I can remember. If we had one more rupee, we could buy one more, and that would be perfect. Oh, a chicken. No one likes chicken. Get farmers for some reason. I suppose it's because they get so much money out of them. That's all I can think of anyway. Okay, so we've got two magic beans. We're going to get a third now. Need food. Four. Need footy rupees. That's what we need. Footy rupees. Forty rupees for one piece. Yep. We're not going to get any more in the entire game now. So we've got as many as I want to buy. You can take one uh, Death Mountain by Dodongo's Cavern. There's a piece of soil. There's one in the graveyard in Kakuriko Village. There's one. What's the other one I would like to plant? Can't quite think yet, but I'm pretty sure there's another one. Either way, I'll probably show you at some point. Because they give you heart pieces, they give you really good items when you use the magic beans. Probably because they cost so much. But these are you need to use your shield to hit back the big bullets, which, you know, the same as the Dirk Scrub. We're going to try and get this heart piece because I don't want to get many in the game, but there are some which are just so quick to get, you know. You might as well go for them. Along the way. This one's not that easy actually, but we'll try. Let's just drop drop the chicken but then we'll be fine. Let's go! Yeah! There's plenty to do on this path to Zoro's domain actually. Plenty. With another piece your left hand will be powered up. One more to go. And I think I know where that last one is. Another side quest by you. I'll show you. We haven't got many rupees. Only do us when I haven't got many rupees. Some frogs are looking at you from underwater. Get your ocarina out. And you have to play each song to them once each throughout the game. We'll go for Zelda's Lullaby to start with. Just because, really. If you play every song, I'm pretty sure you get a heart piece. But I might be wrong with it. I, I can't quite remember. Young lad, you play the ocarina well. Mm -hmm. That melody is so fine. We all should practice it. Take rupees as a souvenir. If you come up with another nice melody, please drop by and play it. Okay, how many? 
50. <laughs> so I'm not going to play again because there's no point us getting another 50 rupees when every other rupee we'll collect from then on will just be a waste. So we might as well leave it for now. And keep going. It's not a huge diff, a huge distance, you know, to Zora's domain. If we had, later on, once our plant grows that we put down at the bottom, at the entrance, we'd end up having to jump off the plant by here. It's just a big shortcut, basically. Another heart piece for there. Oh, I don't want to get that. I do, I do, I do. I'm going to go back for a chicken. I'll be back in a sec, folks. And we are back, folks. I just got this little chicken from earlier on. You know where the chicken was. He was actually still around from where we let go of him. So, yeah. Heart piece. Two really easy heart pieces to get around here, so I'm too good with the cookies. So we've got six hearts now. That'll help. That extra heart container will help loads in the next dungeon. Because it's a pretty big dungeon. It doesn't take long to get to it, unlike Death Mountain. Ah. Uh, the longest cabin again. Whatever. But the dungeon itself is a bit longer. Zelda's lullaby. Like the owl said earlier. Um, I was going to make this episode cut off, you know, cut it off by you. Because we're about to head into Zor's domain. But is there really any point? That would be such a short episode. It might be a little bit of a long episode in result in result of that, but I'm going to let you listen to this a sec. I absolutely love this place. Some people consider it the town. Look at that, that's so weird. How oh, it goes up, the water, the wall, the wally water thing. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, in the shop, this is the shop of Zora's Domain. It's pretty pointless right now, but we'll have a look. Welcome, the blue tunic, 300 rupees, we can't even do that much. As well as that, it won't fit children, so there's no point. Hearts, arrows, we don't need arrows. Seeds. Potion we could buy if we really wanted to. Fish, 200 rupees. Obviously, we can't get that yet. I mean, I think you could get that size of a wallet by now, but I don't know. But no, we're going to do it a much cheaper, a much easier way. I'll show you exactly how. We've got three bottles. Two bottles. Oh, we've got two bottles. I thought we had three by now. Never mind. So we're going to get rid of the milk. Because we need this empty bottle. Even if you wanted to buy it in there, you need it. You need an empty bottle. Use the milk again, so you can use it twice. I prefer to have a fairy, because it revives you and don't even have to worry about having the bottle on the adventure screen. So we're going to get our own fish. It is necessary to continue with the game. I'm not just doing this for a side quest or anything. We've got a fish! Right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that away for now, just in case I accidentally use it or something. What else do we need to do? Right, okay, we can't... Come on, come on, come on. We've got a little mini game coming up now. A mandatory mini game. And we get to that by throwing the controller all over the place. That's how we do it. Don't worry about the torches. <laughs> Later on, if you light all the torches, then you get something. Who knows what, though. Here we go, King Zora. He's a lovely guy. Bit overweight, perhaps, but it's not his. Well. Princess Ruto could be as well. He wants to find his daughter, Princess Ruto, and we have to do that for him. It's all very weird, this place, I guess. There's no telling you where to go and stuff. Wanna play for 20 rupees? Yeah, we do. Okay, pick up all the rupees. That's all he's saying. Sorry I cut through our by the way. Skip the head. Did a bit after. We need to collect every rupee. That'll give us enough rupees to play the minigame again if we really, if we really, uh, think we need to. Die, die, die. Two of them. They disappeared really weirdly then. It, it didn't feel like I was collecting them at all. With only three seconds diving time, it was really awkward this minigame, I find. Not a bad thing, so it makes it a bit more of a challenge, but I don't know. Hey, congratulations, I got something very nice for you. Come and get it. Okay, so we need to go all the way back up now. The left side. It's not that far, really. <laughs> I 
Let's just win you for the sake of it. Don't we all do that from time to time? Yeah. Get overboard. Hello, Kingy. I'm finding your princess, don't worry. I won't let you down. You. What a graceful dive. Now please, take this. This is the scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. Instead of the three seconds we have now, we'll be able to dive for six seconds with a silver scale. This will be enough to get us a little hint about where Princess Ruto is. So let's do that now. Yeah, we got to dive all the way back down again after climbing all the way back up. I wish it would have teleported us, but whatever. Said that a lot, don't I, lately? Whatever. <laughs> In by you. Really well hidden out of the way. We make it to Lake Hylia. This will be an important place later on. For now, all we need to do is collect this bottle. So now we've got a third bottle out of four. There we go. It is important. You've got an empty bottle. Put something inside and use it with C. What? Something's already inside? How suspicious. Let's put that bottle on right away. I can't remember where the last bottle is, so if we don't end up collecting it, I do apologise. I mean... We should be collecting it, but I just can't think right now where it is. I'll figure it out by the, by the time... By the time we need it. If it's something that takes way too much effort, then I won't get it, because... There's no point. Three bottles is plenty enough to get you through the game. Plenty enough. Two would be enough, probably. One bottle is only... I think you only need to get one bottle in the entire game, don't you? Just this one? Yeah, because the other ones are just like little mini-games and stuff. Anyways, hello you! Let me show you something. Nope, nope, come on. Make sure you L-target him, or Z-target him, however you're playing. Oh, this letter! It's from Princess Ruto! Hmm, let's see... She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu. That's not possible. Oh, the next dungeon is coming up and I love it so much! When I first started playing this game, I got stuck in this dungeon for so long. It's the first dungeon where I, I personally think you can get stuck in there. It looks like Ganondorf is the cause of it as well. But this is a surprise, really. Ganondorf is the, is the source of Lord Jabu Jabu's pain and torment. Yeah. Keep the bottle. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately. Zora! Why did he shout Zora at the end? Was this supposed to be like a ribbit? Or like a Pokemon sound? That we fail, we say? Okay, this is going to take a while. I'm just going to warn him. <laughs> He's a nightmare. He's a nightmare. Can he just roll off the edge or something? I don't know what sound he's making, I'm just squeaking. I'm pretty sure he's not a mouse, but... <laughs> we'll pretend he is for now. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I just remembered something. What we're going to do next, as well as see who Lord Jabu Jabu is, I'm going to do something optional for just a moment. We're going to go and see another great fairy. Right, that's Lord Jabu Jabu, this giant whale that all the Zoras seem to love so much. First of all, we're going over here. Like I said, we're going to get something a little bit optional. Make sure you got your bombs out. Maybe you got one or two bombs, because we're going to be needing it. As well as an ocarina, because we're going to a... Uh, we're going to a great fairy, like I said earlier. Some fish around you, I suppose you can catch if you didn't get them in Zora's domain. You will be needing it in a moment. And this tree by you. Something else that's amazing. We now have 10 gold sculpt players, enough for to break the first place if we want to go back to Kakuko Village, but maybe we'll do that later. For now, just chuck a bomb. Yeah! I think you have to hit the brown wall though. Maybe you can just hit the wall though. I don't know. Great Fairy's Fountain. Another spell now. We got Din's Fire, which will become useful much later in the game. Now we're going to get our second spell, which took a while there, which um, I'm not sure is that useful, but I like to get it for completionist's sake, you know. Even though I'm not much of a completionist, there are limits. There are certain ones that I like to do in this game. <laughs> Hello, woman. Man. Thing. 
<laughs> I wonder what was running through Nintendo's heads when they designed her. I'll give you a magic spell. Please take it. Oh, I'll gladly accept. I'm surprised it only took us one episode to get us all the way to the third dungeon. I guess it's because we didn't do many side quests other than this. You've got Pharaoh's Wind. This is a warp magic you can use with C. Warp when you're in danger. Right, you can only use it when you're in a dungeon. Wherever you use it in the dungeon, it'll create a warp point, like you're saying below. And then, you can save the game, load it back up and it'll be at the entrance of the dungeon. Use Pharaoh's Wind once again, and you can be teleported to wherever you used it the first time. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know if I'll ever be showing you that or not. It depends on how the recording sort of goes, because it's going to be a little bit awkward recording the later dungeons when they're pretty long and pretty difficult. One especially. There's only one I'm really thinking of. Right, so... Now that we've got that, I'm going to get another bottle out. The one with the fish on it. Yeah. thing is with Pharaoh's Wind, it doesn't actually use that much MP up. Especially since you don't use MP for much in this game anyway. Yet. Yet. It becomes much more important later on. So yeah, third dungeon. Once we've done this one, the game's going to change drastically. Oh yes. I don't know how you're supposed to know to use a fish on Lord Jabba Jabba. I really don't. I'm supposed... I think Sarah tells her if we play Sarah's song. Or, as well as that, probably some Zora say, Jabba Jabba loves fish. She's a whale. But even, even though it's common sense to think a whale likes fish, I had a bit of trouble when I was little, <laughs> trying to figure out that we had to use a fish for you. Here we go. Just use it anyway. You can't L target him. And here we go. First dungeon was inside a giant tree. Second dungeon was inside a typical cave. Third dungeon inside a whale that has been contaminated by Ganondorf. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode because I think it's been pretty streamlined and I'm quite happy with it myself. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again in a bit, folks. <laughs>